SketchUp first opens in a top view, which means that we're looking down upon an imaginary ground plane. The two dimensions of this plane are visible as a red and green axis. The dotted portions indicate the negative axis direction. Let's start drawing. First, click on the pencil tool. This lets us draw straight lines. We can begin drawing anywhere. Simply press and hold the primary mouse button to start drawing an edge. As I pull the end point of the line, notice that the current length is displayed in the lower right hand corner of the screen. Notice too that as I pull this line in a direction that is parallel with an axis, the line turns the color of that axis. I will release the button when the line is long enough, or just enter the length after indicating the direction I want. I'll enter a length of 12 feet, and the line becomes that length. I've intentionally left the dimension of this second line visual and loose to demonstrate that I can draw as accurately or as loosely as I want at any time. This lets you focus on proportion and massing while precisely locking down important measurements. SketchUp features a unique ability to infer directions on a 2D screen, which helps navigate in 3D space more quickly. An inference is indicated by a colored dot under the mouse cursor. As I move the cursor over a line, SketchUp indicates when we are on that line with a red dot. Endpoints of lines show as a green dot, and midpoints display as light blue or cyan. Clicking when these points display allows you to draw accurately from these points. While a press and drag creates a single line, I can start drawing a series of lines simply by clicking the mouse button on endpoints. Hitting the escape key exits the tool and cancels the next tentative line. Our next topic, the orbit tool, allows us to rotate our eye point around a model by clicking and dragging. This is one of the handiest ways of viewing and navigating in 3D using SketchUp. You can see that the blue axis is now visible. This indicates the vertical direction. The surface we've drawn now becomes visible in perspective. Let's click on the push-pull tool, which lets us manipulate surfaces easily. Simply press on a face and drag in the direction you want to go. In this way, flat faces can be extruded into 3D volumes. I can specify a distance after I release the mouse if I want, just like when specifying the length of a line. I can also push-pull on any of the sides that were created. Try practicing these techniques for yourself.